All right, so question is, as a singer, performer, how do I charge properly for performances? So again, this is where your community is gonna be big, right? Uh, and the reason I say that is uh, an up and coming singer in New York City is gonna be different than an up and coming singer in Boise, Idaho, right? As far as like, where are you performing, the size of the venues, the, the amount of people in the venue. Um, and then also your ability to bring people out, right? That's a challenge. So like if you're going to an open mic and you're not bringing anybody, I, I don't think you're charging anything, right? That's an opportunity. But when you get to a place where you say, look, I can do, in my hometown, I could get 100 people, maybe from a high school or family and friends to come out to a small venue and perform. Uh, a lot of times you can go directly to the venue owner or the, the buying agent, talent agent at the venue and say, hey, uh, I want to do a show. I think I can get 100 people to come out. They'd be willing to pay $20 a pop. It's $2,000. They're going to spend money on food. They're going to spend money on drinks. What can we negotiate? Uh, a lot of times what I would do is I wouldn't say a number, but I would ask, what do you usually do in this situation? Right? Let them give you a number. Right? And, and, and by starting there, you can also do some research, right? You can also look at who's performed in that venue in the past, and you can reach out to their teams and say, hey, I saw you perform at that venue. Do you mind letting me know like, what, what they paid you for that? You sold out. Like, what did you receive? That, the information's out there, right? So you can look at any venue, and a venue doesn't have to be the biggest venue in your city. It doesn't have to be the arena. It doesn't have to be the 2,000-person the venue. It could also be you know, a, a coffee shop. Right? I think our first shows we did were at, at a little coffee shop with maybe 30 people in attendance. And we did it after hours. She usually closed the shop around 6. And so what we, we negotiated, we said, hey, if we had people come from like 7 to 9 on a Tuesday, like a really slow day, and they all you know, spent 10, 15 bucks, would that be worth you opening your doors a little later? And we were able to negotiate her keeping her doors open on Tuesdays for us. And all we would do is then go to artists and say, hey, we got a great opportunity for you to perform, um, and we'll do a split of the tickets with you. Um, and we were transparent with the artists. If 50 people showed up and they paid $10 a piece, we made 500 bucks. If three artists showed up, we split that 50-50 with the artists. Um, so it, it, it all depends. There is no, again, one size fits all, but you gotta ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Ask the venue questions and ask other artists who have performed at the venue questions as well. People want to share this information. I will gladly tell anybody, hey, this is how much we charge or this is how much we've made at this size venue in this city.